We're ringing in the spooky season with a showcase of the Necromancer Monkey. Uh, no, not the tier 4 wizard, but rather a modded tower that comes with 15 full upgrades uh, and a Paragon at that too. Thanks to Dat Jane though for the mod, if you want to take a quick read here. It's an intelligent, powerful, and cunning monkey. Shock spoons with necrotic energy, dealing rapid and moderate damage over a large range. Tends to work well in groups. Sounds fun. Lots of upgrades to check out, so... Uh, looking forward to it. Let's go ahead and get over here, and did I just see... I think I just saw, like, a, a nice placement animation for that wizard. Well, enough about the placement animation. Take a look at the attack animation, too. That's, uh, again, very, very well done. We've got purple spooky lightning. We've got, I guess, uh, on on hit, there's like a little skull explosion that does massive damage. Uh, cool. Let's take a look at each tier 1 upgrade here. Taking a quick read. Top path, deadly blast, necrotic shocks, pop an additional two layers. Uh, Miasma, poison balloons on hit, dealing heavy damage over time. And necro reach just increases attack range. Damn. For $1,000, that's the most expensive range upgrade I've ever seen. Well, aside from the uh, Super Monkey, but they did give the Super Monkey, uh, well, Pierce now with that upgrade, so it's a little bit more forgivable. Anyways, I didn't mean to, but I accidentally bought Deadly Blast, so uh, we'll take it. I kind of want it in my asthma. Uh, having a DOT sounds really nice, especially if it works on the Lightning. Then we can get some really nice early game damage, but I guess for now we can take a look at Ethereal, Top Path Tier 2. Necromancer Nod pops all balloon types. That I don't think is a big deal, since uh, it's only purples, I think, that it can't pop. Anyways, we got Miasma now, and we should see that DOT coming in really handy, right? I believe it does work on uh, the Lightning Chains, too. Very cool. Actually, it's not Lightning. Sorry, sorry. It's just the animation. If the Necromancer attacks something that's, like, uh, as far away as possible, then you see, like, uh, the Lightning Chain to that balloon. I should probably use my eyes more, eh? Anyways, dual casting tier 2 attacks an additional random target. Sounds like that's basically double damage, because right now only two just as well. One at a time. Doing four layers of damage each, from my observation. Now, I would get dual casting now, but one thing I'm not sure about is if it can attack the same target twice. Because if it doesn't, then that won't be good for the MOA, but suppose I should try anyways? Sure. Here's the double lightning, double chains. Uh, and now our spooky white skulls have turned into uh, spooky purple skulls. Uh, in the meantime, we can take a look at life steal here. Only $4,000. Periodically steals the life of the largest non mob balloon on screen, executing them instantly, and gains one life per layer the balloon had. So it sounds similar to, uh, I guess, the uh, jungle of the druid. As in a one shot to tower, but the, the difference is that you actually gain lives. Uh, um, That sounds very interesting. Let me see if I can get it for the Serams coming in right about now. Let me get some lives. Nice. I got plus two, I think, for my right there. My question is, how often does it activate? Uh, I just saw it there. God damn it. <laughs> the panel blocked us. Blocked our view. Now, this would be a really, really good tower against Lich here. Wouldn't it? Uh, I couldn't see there. I was fast-forwarding. Sorry for being blind. Anyways, uh... Um... Uh, I think we have enough more damage in the tank. I can't tell if that's double. But now that I'm looking at this carefully, I believe we're getting plus three from a Black Bloon. But doesn't a Black Bloon have, um, uh, what do you call it, more than three three layers? Uh, uh, I'm not sure what's up there, because I saw a Zebra get executed. That also has seven layers. Three. I won't complain too much, though. Free lives is free lives. Plus four, I think, from a Ceramic. Let's go ahead and get a second Necromancer now, because I want to see the bottom path before going, for, going further into uh, um, those tiers there. So, uh, again, I want to get the Necro Reach and Greater Power. The Chronic Shocks can pop more balloons in a larger radius, so uh, a larger explosion radius, as you see there. Nice, nice. And if I look at this carefully, I think this next one, Spiritual Ritual, is a money-making upgrade. It communes the spirits with spirits to bring fortune. Generates $500 every round, increasing by 10%. For every Necromancer with this upgrade, wait a minute, that's pretty insane. So when it says including this one, that means we're already making $550 a round. It's kind of similar to the Central Market Plus, what do you call it? Merchant Man synergy, except this time it works on the exact same tower. I guess I'll go ahead and use that for my farming instead then. Sure. And we'll go ahead and get Monkey City too, because I assume we'd get the plus 20% from it. Also, if I look at this carefully, it should show us the money amount. Ah, yes, right in the middle of the screen, rather than on the tower itself. So 550x1, let's get that to 11, 1200 after this one. We got to now, yep, $600 times two. Hog. I'm loving the mechanics of this tower, right? I guess we'll go uh, four of them. 
At least for now, don't worry. I'll max out soon. I just want to check out other upgrades in the meantime. I will need to max out because I think some of these tier 5s are uh, very, very expensive. Just a uh, teeny tiny head top. Let's just take a look at tier 4 in the meantime, though. Ritual Leader. Channels more power necromancers. Uh, all necromancers gain 10% attack speed for every necromancer with this upgrade. Base stack leans, gold range, and improved all around. So if I'm reading that correctly, uh, then this attack speed works with any other necromancer. Uh, Sounds very good for later on in the game. Maybe, uh, maybe not right now. But I guess if you if you had to compare this with any other tower, it would be, uh, well, like a pop lust. I'm just I guess in the meantime, I'm just gonna finish off with getting uh, ten of these spiritual rituals. Uh, okay, this is Necromancer nine, and here is Necromancer number ten. How much are we getting per round at this moment? About ten k and around cash. We have now fully maxed it out. Although, technically, I, th I still think I'm free to continue getting more than Necromancer is. Uh, it just won't increase the uh, existing ones. Let me just test, for example. I got exactly 10k that time. I'd assume I get 11k now. Is that right? Let me see. Uh, yep. Okay, so $1,000 uh, for a tower that costs, like, uh, 10k. That's pretty efficient. I guess I use that for my farming this game, then. Anyways, uh, that's enough to 3 spam. Let's take a look at Fatal Fate here, I guess. Uh, so, periodically marks them all for death. Marked mobs are executed for fatal damage if their health falls below 20% and consumes the mark. And there's an ability too that instantly executes 5 moabs. So that's a neat mechanic. Does that basically make it like Trojan in that once you get to 20%, the insides are gone completely too? That sounds funky and nice. Like, I'm liking the fact that it's not just a steric, it's a typical, you know, damage upgrade. It's actually got a unique twist to it. Let's just see if it works on BFB. Wow, it does. <laughs> we just nuked that into oblivion. Let's see, is that mob mark? Yeah, you can see. It just creates a giant cloud of dark energy around that mob, and once it gets 20%, bam, <laughs> it is gone. So not just great mechanics, but great art and uh, animation to this too. Love it. Now, I think the only thing we're missing is uh, a top path upgrade. So let me just go ahead and build. Uh, I, I'll say, let's build some top paths to the left side instead. So uh, I already saw Ethereal. I did not see Raisin Dead. Which summons uh, Ghost of Three to Quincy's ancestors. The Torment Balloons. Ah, uh, yes. Run from it, dread it. You can never escape Quincy and his arrows. Now, how's the damage on that? For like 13k, it's actually not. It doesn't seem that great, but that's okay. If anything, they're just there in spirit to help us out. Let's go ahead and get one. I think I want to get one spiritual leader. And you now see that every necromancer on the screen has an icon to indicate that they get 10% stronger. Now for a tier 4, aside from the Sun Temple, that's gotta be the most expensive tier 4 I've seen in the game. Empower Undead. I guess it costs extra extra to uh, put some other game art into uh, at least the icon here. So, Ghosts are stronger and summons 3 zombie sword fighters. Base attack now deals more damage. I mean, I guess since that's the cheapest upgrade out of all the remaining ones, uh, I will have to get that. Yeah, take a look at that, those tier 5s, guys. $270,000. They better be Legend of the Night levels. Let me just go ahead and get a Banana Central first, just to get my uh, money accelerating a little bit. I've decided to just go farms because it's kind of annoying building up tier 3s that only, only make 1k per round. It's much more easier just buying a single tier 5 and uh, having that be all. Now, I'm curious to see, does the Mark of Death actually work on ZMGs? Uh, let's take a look. I used it, and it does not. BFB is only, it seems. Unless, like, the attack itself will uh, give the mark. I don't... Oh, it does, it does, okay. The ability does not, but the main, yes. Actually, maybe it's that it had to be in range for us to actually um, give the mark or give the execution. I guess I can test with, like, uh, next round here. Or rather, this round here. So let me wait for the zoom to get in range, and then use the execution. Right about... Now? Okay. It's it's a range thing. Gotcha. Now, if this thing works on BFE, that would be extra 90. I feel like Fatal Fate should definitely cost way more than 7k, because this is kind of, uh, pretty broken. Not even have to deal with the BFB inside. It's just simply executing that for a cost of only $20,000. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing, like, keeping us alive at this point. Because without the execution, I think we just... We're, we're having a problem against Ramsey, you see. 91 has got hands. Uh, luckily, the life still has given us up to... Uh, 1,000 lives at this point. I think I'll just go ahead and get Empower Undead. Let's get them zombies out. Three of them. And they are... How do I explain it? They're undead sodas. Now, I do enjoy soda, but not undead sodas. Uh, they do seem to pack quite a punch, though. Maybe too much of a punch, because now they're not getting... These MGs on the left side here 
aren't getting executed. The way they move, honestly, is pretty cool. Like, they just they just glide very seamlessly to other targets if, say, uh, there's some on the right side they need to take care of. Right now, they're just stuck on the left, of course, because we're beating right side here pretty easily. But take a look at that. Swapping on right. Swapping back left. <laughs> I'd love to see it. I guess tier 5 here. The top path is the cheapest one. Siege from the Underworld. Uh, greatly increases the power of all undead, even from other necromancers. Uh, I assume that means other tier 4, top path tier 4s, and tier 3s that we get will be empowered. I'm not going to buy them, though, because I'm pretty sure just getting the tier 5 itself will do a massive amount of damage. Now we have 5 Quincy Ghosts, 5 Ancestors, and 5 Undead Zodas. Now I hope these don't kill the bat too quickly, because I want to see if the Mark of Death works on a BED here, so uh, I'm not going to be able to see it, am I? Nope. <laughs> That's too fast. Rip. Well, let's keep going. And I guess in the meantime, while we'll watch these Undead Shred, we can read some descriptions. First off, Death is Among Us. Gotta love the icon art here, and I gotta enhance. I gotta put on my reading glasses. Uh, Mark blooms for death much faster. Doubles the execution threshold and marked for death Moabs from 20 to 40. A fatality ability to affect unlived Moabs and increases the execution threshold from uh, to 60 for, tw for 20 seconds after activation. Wow. Now for that cost, I almost have to believe it, it works on bads, so I'm not going to upgrade this just yet until I see if the tier 4 works on, like, bads. But we can take a look at Ultimate Sacrifice uh, in the meantime. Must enhance even more. I didn't know you can get a text that small, but... Ability! Darkness stuns all balloons and then channels half of your lives into a barrage of necrotic energy, vaporizing balloons to ashes. More lives equals more power. And then it activates automatically if all balloons are about to leak. Uh, uh, triples cash from Fortune Rituals, and all Necromancers get plus 3 damage. Plus 3 doesn't really mean, mean much in the late game, so we're really just looking at that ability there. How much power are we, are we talking about? Because I can... I can afford to use two of these ultimate sacrifices right now. So now for the Fatal Fate test here. Well, I can't test that Moab because, uh, or that bad, because it, apparently this thing is still that strong. But I can use this one here. Uh, it, it said executed, but I don't think... It might have left a mark, so maybe we still have to get to 20%. Indeed, it got executed, but it did still spawn insides. That's interesting. I didn't see any DT, so maybe it, it only, for bads, it only works on some of the BAD insides. Anyways, I think with that... We are free to get this. We can now get a glimpse of what would happen if Among Us X Bloons TD6 got a crossover, and uh, I I don't think I can't even test the ability right now. Frankly, the ability wouldn't make much of a difference because it's already popping everything like instantly. Let me just see if there's any special animation though. Ah, there's like this little cloud of dark dust, dark darkness. The way I just said that is kind of like just saying chai tea. Should I buy ultimate sacrifice? Sure, let's get it. So, what am I looking here at exactly? Well, for one, I get triple cash, which is cool. Not that I really need the cash now, because we're pretty close to already getting the Deathbringer, which uh, you'll see very soon. In fact, let me just read the description. Scientists claim rubber takes 400 years, 450 years to degrade. This monkey disagrees, and he thinks it's more like 0 .001 seconds. Now, that's an A-plus tier uh, description right there. Gotta love the icon that it brings to all right, when do you think we can use the ability? Oh, 137 looks interesting. Wait, what just happened? Oh, right, right, right. I think that's the... It's it's automatic. If you're about to leak, it saves you. And that, my friends, is the coolest animation I've seen. Seen yet. So we just lost 500 lives. And in exchange, I feel like the ability's still going on from the, all this giant mist going around the map here. I think now it is officially... No, it's still here. It's still here. Seems like they're periodically coming in and out. And now they're officially gone. I didn't expect to see a light show. That's for sure here. I think considering the ability is so long, the cooldown. Let's get an Energizer 2. And uh, for our 40, I could probably just use the Sussy ability. If I don't have the summon time. And uh, I will. Actually, wait. I don't want to use it right now because it is... Like, I gotta wait for it to get down to close to 60... So that I actually get the execution. So there we go. We should be able to uh, just execute it instantly. Like that. However, again, it still leaves you insides. I guess that's just a... Uh... No, it's not just a BD thing. It's also leaving insides for ZMGs. Uh, we're about to leak again, I think. Wow. And uh, again, it's coming to save us. Ultimate Sacrifice. I feel like it's going to lose you so much. It's about time, I think, we go for uh, the Paragon. I'll wait, though. I'll use it now. Execute everything. Nope. <laughs> it, di it didn't save us. It didn't save us. Again, the ultimate sacrifice did. Down to 500 lives exactly now. Not good. 
I don't know how much this would help at this point, since we're at round 144, scaling is insane. But I guess I could still go for, like, 10x spiritual ritual leaders. So that I can basically double the damage of this thing. Oh, my bad. Is it only in range? Oh, it is. Okay, okay. So, I have to have 10 around... Uh, what do you call it? This one, then. I thought it was, like... It didn't say it was in range, though. I thought it was just global. But now I see, I see. Let's... How are these undead Sodas and Quincy's up? Alright, there we go. Now we should survive a, a, a... At least a little bit more rounds here. Frankly, I gotta love the fact that the sacrifice ability basically uh, activates itself right before you die, which is pretty much the perfect time that you want the ability to save you. Don't really think there's a point in using the ability ahead of time unless you uh, need to save it for like the next round or anything like that. Now, in hindsight, Geraldo probably wouldn't have been uh, the better hero because I could actually get a degree 100 Deathbringer, but... I'd settle for 76. Let me just get a couple more of these tier 4s uh, to guarantee I get it. Get it. We stopped dying now with the 10x stacks, but I think I still think it's time to upgrade. Also, why is there 11 stacks? I thought it was only 10. Well, we, we just happened to get 12. Okay, I guess it's technically unlimited and the uh, upgrade was alive. But regardless, uh, I am going to ignore that. Otherwise, with infinite stacks, we could probably get really, really out of hand. I think it's time. Deathbringer. Let's get it. And let's even combine all three pads of... Uh, the Necromancer, and uh, uh, I don't have any abilities anymore, but maybe it's just automatic. We see uh, a Phoenix, Dark Phoenix. Not like a Whisper gun flying around the map, shooting out dark purple lightning, and this thing shooting out whatever the ultimate sacrifice was shooting out. This is definitely one of the projectiles of all time. Does it, if I decrease the uh, size of that, does it also? Yes, it does. It's kind of funny that it still takes up a giant amount of the map, even at like 30%, but... It does look a lot more different. Now that friends is very fancy. It's basically as if the ultimate sacrifice ability was active at all times. Just looking at, again, the projectiles that it's spawning. Fire, darkness breath, or whatever you call it. I don't know. I think we ought to jump straight to round 200, the way this is looking. How is it against FF? Well, <laughs> round 200 still too easy, apparently. Also, what just happened? My Phoenix turned, um, normal. That's interesting. Okay, now, how about round 250? I think I, I noticed that it no longer executes balloons. Maybe it's because it already does so much damage. Indeed, it does do too much damage. Now, could you imagine if I combined, like, this with a, a tier 5? Just, uh, Death is Among Us. Then uh, that means, uh, with the ability, we can survive, like, not twice as long, but we can deal with, like, 60% stronger uh, bads. Because now we can just beat F bats when they're at 40 or 60% instead of, uh, well... At 100, the way that, again, the way this is currently going, 300. I still think this is too low. Does this thing do, like, percentage-based damage or something? Because I feel like it, it has no business being this good. Again, balance is secondary with, with these mods, so I take that with uh, a grain of salt. Around 400 now. Okay, finally some proof that I don't think it's percentage-based, but still... I think a little bit too good with it doing 2 million per frame. Okay. Also, I had to reload the game because the, the light got so bad. One last test. Round 500. But as I predicted, we probably won't even last like 10 seconds before the game completely freezes up. So th that does it. Hope you enjoyed the Tower Showcase. Very fun and unique upgrades all around. Possibly stick around for a part two of this. Since it's such an interesting concept. So leave a comment down below if you want to see more. Also, the track got very, very bright all of a sudden. So I gotta assume it's something like the, the longer it's attacking... The longer its effects, or whatever, maybe it's a road item, stays on screen for. That's it, though. Have a very spooky day.